Hi, I'm Diego. I'm from Mexico City. Um, hi, David. Hello. So last week we were just talking about choices. Uh, I'd like to know how you can identify uh, that you are taking a risky or a strong choice mm. uh, versus having usually sometimes a conventional or, yeah. or a weak choice. Yeah. This is an interesting question because of our conversation yeah. specifically, right? I think most actors get stuck doing conventional work, right? Just the, just what happens, right? If you just pick up if you just pick up a script and read and go, oh, got it, and you move on with, without any sort of uh, um, work on your part. If you just kind of allow the script to tell you what it is, usually you get results commensurate with that level of effort. Right, so so it, it takes some energy to break out of habit. Like habit is, we all have a way of talking. We have a, a certain distance that we want to maintain with each other. We have our way of being polite, and not really saying so much. Right? Hey, how are you doing? Hey, what's up? We ask questions, we don't give answers. Mm -hmm. We're not even really listening. We just habit is taking us along. Right? It'll take you along in your script too. This is where when we talked about choices. Um, to know when something is a meaningful choice to you, right? That it matters to you. Because it, there were some things that you mentioned, and I said, yeah, it's a fine choice, but you see how it, we can see how it sounds good. I mean, sometimes logic can get you to a choice. Let's look at the tools. That's the mm -hmm. way to think of it. Let's look at tools. You can use analysis, like a logical approach, right? Or you can use um, body. Or you can use kind of, uh, I'll say, soul, like intuition, an emotional approach to the scene. Right? Mm. So they all have something to give, right? Some people really like an analytical approach. You can say, well, what's happening in the scene? What's the situation? Right? That, that's, that's a good place to start. What's the situation? And don't generalize. Be specific. Right? Um, if you get specific about your circumstances, oftentimes it will lead you to behavior Right? It will lead you into body, it will lead you to behavior that is actually interesting and varied and doesn't just, isn't just spoon fed by the script. Mm -hmm. right? So you want some analysis. What's the situation? Where am I coming from? Where am I going to? But then for you, like, I'm getting to the crux of your question, which is really how do I know if that choice that I've made, like I've done some thinking about it, I've done some, some, some rehearsing maybe, how do I know if I'm doing anything worthwhile up here? Yeah. Right? You're gonna know that in there. Actually, no, probably not. Probably in there, right? It's gonna be down here or it's gonna be up here, right? It's when you feel like you're about to freak out, you're probably on the right path. And I don't mean freak out like, oh, I'm gonna cry, or I think I'm going insane. What I mean is you should make a choice and when you, when you get ready to perform, like most people get nervous when, they get to, when they're about to perform, right? <sighs> a little nervous, okay, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, the choice is not ready yet. When you're just like, yeah, I'm a little nervous. All right, all right. You want to you want to pick something that is personal enough to you, right? Personalize enough your choices so that you're thinking, <laughs> I don't know if I could do this. I, all right, but I, then you gotta like, concentrate, right? If it's not straining your ability to concentrate, it's probably not good enough in in your training. Right? When you end up really good at this stuff, it'll become easier, it won't, it'll take less strain. Right now, what you should be picking should be at the outer edge of your reach in terms of concentration okay. and really personal. Cool. Real, now, real personal, really personal does not necessarily mean really emotional. That's where you like to go. If you're going to get personal, it has to get emotional in your, in your mind. That's conventional. Some of the most, most you know, in a way, uh, personal moments, intimate moments I've had in my life didn't appear particularly emotional, but they're really meaningful, right? But you don't always have to, to cry or shout, right? So what I want is truth, a personal truth from you. And that you're going to feel in here. You're going to feel in your stomach because you're going to want to vomit, right? Or you're going to be like, I don't know if I can. Or you're going to go, your voice is going to start, like, you're, right, your voice is pretty free, actually. But you'll feel your voice start to grab up a little bit. And you'll go, you're probably on the right path. Relax, focus, make the choice. Cool. All right? Okay. Thank you, David. You're welcome. <laughs> Keep up the good work.